when, when people go to, and I think I've talked about this on the podcast before, when I was in Pakistan, if there's somebody who's running a shop, they still have to pay for all their own health care, the kids' education and all that stuff. So they're working their asses off and they have to do that. Now, when they move to England or France, they get social services where you know they can live in a residence that's secure. They can have education for their kids that's free. They have health care that's free. Uh, they're getting uh, s- support, financial support from the government, social assistance. When they have that, I think a lot of them, uh, they do become complacent. They become more ghettoized. They tend to be, fall into lower socioeconomic uh, class. And uh, they don't really have that much of an identity beyond the fact that they're Muslim or they're brown or they're Pakistani or they're immigrants. On the other hand, like people who come to the U.S., they're not going to have any kind of social assistance. They're going to they're going to have to eventually integrate and assimilate and get their shit together and start making a life for themselves. So, in contrast to the Muslim minorities in in European countries, where these social uh, uh, networks, uh, these social safety nets are really strong. In the, in the United States, uh, you have uh, the Muslims tend to be one of the highest that they have tend to have. Well, there's uh, a, another reason for that too, because you know, in Canada and United States, they have an ocean between them and Islamic countries. So any 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 person that gets here has to afford a plane uh, ticket. That's, that's it's easier to screen. Uh, people need to be able to afford it. Um, the screening process is much easier for Canada and United States. That's what- Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash SJME.